What's going on guys? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm discussing Disney's brand new live action film the Nutcracker and the Four Realms. Nutcracker and the Four Realms is about a young girl who's transported into a magical world of gingerbread soldiers and an army of mice. There's more to the story with that, but that's kind of all you gotta know. You've A lot of the stuff that you've seen in the trailer is what you get in this film. And I'll put it this way. Whatever you think you're gonna get out of this film is what you're gonna get out of it. I equivalent this film to if you go to Disneyland, you get in line for about 45 to 50 minutes, then you're gonna get on this brand new dark ride that's a little bit scary for kids, but maybe adults will kind of just find fine. But you get on this ride, you go, it's maybe a 10 minute ride, but midway through the ride breaks down for 10 to 12 minutes, or at least what it seems like. Then the ride continues, it ends, you get off and you go, oh, that was fine. I'll probably never go on it again. That's how this film is. It was just fine. There's nothing special to it. There's nothing amazing to it. It's just a film that you really watch once and then you're done with it. And that's how I at least feel. Maybe you feel different and that's what's great about movies. We can talk about it down below in the comments, discuss it if you think it's better than what I'm saying. But I just found the film to be a little bit lifeless and just be nothing original like it had a really cool original concept there are a lot of steampunk little cool nods to the world and there are some cool mythology building stuff that they do do in this world of the nutcracker and the four realms but it just felt like there was nothing special to it which is weird because it looks original and it looks unique the film itself wasn't what i will say most importantly that works for this film wholeheartedly is the cast. Mackenzie Foy is the main character, Clara, is fantastic. I thought Mackenzie Foy had a lot of charismatic value to her, and I thought Keira Knightley did good as Sugar Plum, Morgan Freeman was great, Helen Mirren's always good, and one was really just good in here, and they never bragged down the film, they really good with what the material gave them. But again, it just feels like a lifeless film. It's moving, it's chugging along, and it's very short. It was only an hour and a half long, not including the credits, and it just went smoothly. At times, a little bit boring, but again, there are some cool elements to it. I can't totally trash on the film. I did enjoy some of the moments to it. And the costume design in here, plus the dancing, the actual ballet that they do have in some of this film, is exquisite. And I wanted a little bit more of it. And that's where I'll say that if you're interested in the Nutcracker story, you might as well just go find a ballet near you and go watch it or watch any of the other original concepts for it. The film does get you into the holiday feverish pitch that is coming up soon. But again, it just doesn't feel original, it's its normal self, and there was nothing really unique about it, even though it had a lot of unique concepts it just didn't captivate on. And the Nutcracker is exactly what you're going to get out of it, it's exactly what you think it's going to be. I saw the trailers, it looked a little bit unoriginal, and I just saw it and I was like, yeah, that's going to lose a lot of money, and that's what I really feel like with the box office. Maybe it's just me that felt this way, but I just felt like it was lacking a lot of elements of fun. Nancy Foy was great. I really liked her and I can't wait to see what she does next. The world building itself was there, but I think it needed a little bit more development and overall the direction was a little bit lacking. The film itself is just lifeless. And it's just one of those things you see once, you're never going to need to see again, and that's why I'm going to give The Nutcracker in the Four Realms a C for the Nutcracker or are you not? Let's talk about it. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. And of course, if you're new here and you guys are interested in seeing movies early or checking out other movie news and movie reviews, you can check out Sandwich on Films also down below because right down there we provide all that sorts of stuff and sometimes we do some giveaways. Guys, of course, until next time, stay classy.